Okay, the next video we're going to look at is the food intake chart. So to go to uh, the food intake, go to record care plan information, or if you have an alert from the home status, you can click on that. And then we're going to select food intake from our most common options. Now again, just to reiterate, the only residents on this list will be residents that we're monitoring for food intake. If you are trying to record information for a resident who is not on this list, it's because you're not currently monitoring them for food intake. So you need to talk to one of your clinical leads to get the manage monitoring section changed for that particular resident. When we load the food intake chart, it comes up with the values for today or the current date. When we click continue, we can now add a record, which is adding the food entry for that particular day. First of all, we select a meal type, so we say, say breakfast. Now, if you're using Care Control Kitchen, it will automatically populate the meal description for you. But unfortunately, um, we're not using it at the current stage, we have to type that in. And then we have to enter what's called a meal result. Now, the meal result dictates how much of that meal was eaten. It's, a, it's an approximation, but it is to give us an indication as to whether the resident has eaten all the food or not. So we call the meal eaten. We'll click update. And that provides us with a score. And those scores will vary depending upon what type of meal it is, whether it's a, a lunchtime meal, or an evening meal, whether it's a break meal, etc. So that's our first entry for um, Fred Jones. If we go back into his record, you'll see that we have some information for breakfast, but we're still missing the mid-morning, lunch, etc. And as you go through the day, you'll record this information um, on the food intake chart. Okay, another area we're going to quickly look at is to record a weight of a resident. Okay, we, call, we click on Record Care Plan Information, and we select Service User's Weight. We select um, the service user that we're going to record the weight for. And here we have an option to um, change the date, if appropriate. Uh, we can record it in either stones and pounds, or we can record, record it in kilograms and grams. We can select um, the number of kilograms. Or we can select the number of grams. And then we hit Save Changes. Now, like everything else you record on the system, not only has that gone into his weight chart for analysis later, it's also created a separate care plan note that will be shown on the handover notes and will be visible within the resident's care plan notes.